Hi everybody and welcome back. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys about this new mission points event. Well, it's not really a new event. It's just a new event for this way that they're doing it. We haven't had these rewards before. And these are the new items that you can get. The Majestic Nightwig, which I'm going to be calling the Loopy Wig because it's got the loopies. Loopies are amazing. Everyone knows that. So... The next thing is the knight armor. So the knight armor set, it gives you the entire set minus the wig. I would recommend getting both of them if you're going to get them, or maybe if you have the gold, just buy them from players and spend your gold on training seal, or spend your points on training seals, or now stones, or full recovery potions. I would never spend them on full recovery potions. Don't do that. That's horrible. Um, Fergus repair free repair coupons maybe it's up to you so as you guys can see there's three different levels of these mission points and these mission points go as daily weekly and monthly daily give you 30 points each weekly gives you 200 points each monthly gives you 600 points each in total you can do all that you can in any day if you can complete it you can do it you don't have to wait until the time's almost up or you know it you can do it if you have four rebirth potions you can just spam them and get the 600 points if you need i wouldn't recommend doing that but it's something you could do so first thing i'm going to mention to all you guys i'm not doing this on a different day than you guys if you guys are doing it on the 21st just because my points are my points are different and my skills are different i've completed some dailies already and i've completed some weeklies already and on top of that all of the quests are completely randomized before giving them to you so you're not going to have the same ones as your friends you might have the same ones as your friends but you're not necessarily going to so the first thing i would recommend doing is reading all your dailies see if there's any ones that you can't do so as an example if you have all your gunslinger skills all leveled up and you have a level up any guns one gunslinger skill that's going to be kind of hard for you to do right so you know don't have that that would be one you'd need to re-roll next thing um obtain 300,000 exp po or exp you could just get EXP potions times two, do a couple hard mode shadow missions, and you'd have that done immediately. That wouldn't be one I would ever say to reroll. Great, uh, mysterious herb powder. So if you don't have your um, Chilean ecology and magic craft up, then I would say definitely, you know, you might want to reroll that if that's not skills that you're ready to learn or ready to try and learn. Same thing with uh, creating spanners. Hill, hill and engineering it is somewhat difficult for some people today's shadow mission and when it says uh, clear today's mission once that's today's shadow mission so you can clear it in Tara or you can clear it in Tiltine so either one it's going to count as completing it but here's the thing you don't want to be able to re-roll that and they actually made it where you can't re-roll these and the reason why is because weekly missions so weekly missions they actually require you to do the shadow missions as well you're required to do the shadow missions every day and you're required to do the confirm attendance every day so those of you that have a shop open for seven days and then maintenance kicks you off you will need to re-log or change channels or something in order to confirm your attendance. That's the two things that it guarantee makes you do. The next thing is monthly. It does the same thing. So confirm attendance 25 times. It also has you do 20 dungeons. It has you clear the daily shadow mission 20 times. It gives you more than enough days to do this. So you don't have to do it every day, but you do have to do it in order to receive the massive amounts of points. Now, now that you guys understand what you guys need to do, here's what I'm going to tell you guys. Some of these rewards 
are horrible. Some of them are just horrible. As an example, hmm. Okay, so as an example, these full recovery potions sell for 100k a stack. I believe there's 10 in a stack, meaning that you can get 10 of them for 100k. One of these is 100 points. So 1,000 points is worth 100k if you do it that way. However, if you do it, let's say, the... What was it? The... Mission Rewards Box. Okay, so the Mission Rewards Box, and I'm going to show you guys this on the site. The, this is what the wig looks like. This is what the male wig looks like. This is what the armor and the wig looks like. Look at those loopies. Can I go? No, I can't go off the loopy. Look at the loopies. Okay. This is what the male looks like with the full everything. Now then... These are the new wigs that are inside of just the mission rewards boxes. So only the mission rewards boxes obtain, contain these. And these are two new wigs. But here's the thing. Right under them is the mysterious robe. The mysterious robe sells for 10 million plus. I would 100% say if you don't think that this armor or this wig is good, go out and just try and get the... Just try and get the um, the mission rewards boxes. And worst case scenario, you're either going to get a rabbit mask, squirrel helmet, or a bunch of training things. So for all these skills that nobody really wants to use training skills on. The other thing that you can obtain, which would kind of suck, would be the... MP and HP 100 potions, and maybe the AP potion 5. Those are things that I would kind of say would be bad in this. Everything else seems like, oh, and potent high-speed gathering potion. Everything else seems like it's okay to get inside of a, you know, a gacha pun like this, because you can obtain so many points. I mean, if you even just figure about, you know, 300 points you obtain by your dailies, so you obtain, so just 300 from one day. You have 34 days from this entire event. So 34 times 300 equals 10,200. So you can almost obtain the wig just from doing your dailies. So that's not even counting weeklies or monthlies. If you just want the armor, you can obtain that hands down just from doing your dailies. You can almost obtain it twice. But the thing is, you're not going to have the training seals, which higher levels know these are amazing to have. And there are some skills that these are needed for, basically. So keep that in mind when you guys are buying your awards. I'm not going to tell you what to buy. I'm just going to mention... I'm going to buy the loopy. So, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.